This here is 20-year-old Robert, and on one lonesome Friday night, he showed up to our sting house in Marion, Indiana. Now at this point, that's probably not too surprising, but what was surprising was his means of transportation, the way in which he arrived to our sting house. You see, Robert's funds aren't nearly as sufficient as his pool table skills are. He doesn't have a car of his own, so naturally we offer to pick him up and give him a ride over to the house to hang out with his date. I know it sounds hard to believe, but I swear it's true, and you're about to find out firsthand on this episode of To Skeet a Predator. I'm your host, Skeet Hansen, and this time we collaborated with PC Incorporated to catch this guy. They set this whole thing up and they're doing great work out here, so be sure to give their channel a follow. Also, we had to cut a lot of stuff out of this video just to make it fit YouTube's guidelines, so if you want to see the full, uncensored, uncut version, be sure to head over to skeetergene.locals.com and become a part of the community. Right now, we're getting ready to catch this guy. His name is Russell, but he says the ladies call him Rusty. How's it going, Russell? Good. How are you? Good. What are you here for? Meeting up with somebody to pick them up. Who are you here to meet? I just wanted to let you know, your your brother Russell is here in a Target in Kalamazoo, Michigan, trying to meet a 14-year-old girl, which is a little... Dumb? What is your I was asking. With YouTube taking down and demonetizing these types of videos left and right, becoming a part of the community really helps keep us going with taking down these bad guys. Uh, sorry for e -begging. Now this guy Robert is straight out of a fever dream of some sort. I mean, it's just unbelievable, the situation. And he does have what you would call unspoken riz within this chat log here. Now, he established that he was 20 years old and the girl told him, you know, she was 12. Robert didn't have a problem with this at all. At some point in the conversation, he says, So can I say I love you, baby? Are we dating? We are dating, right? I love you, baby. And the whole time the girl's just giving pretty much one word responses, Robert's just essentially having a conversation with himself here. Here he says, I've been thinking about you all night. The girl says, aw, what about? And Robert says, because you're the love of my life. And if you want to, you can come stay the weekend with me. The girl says, what do you want to do? Robert says, I want to cuddle you. To that, the girl says, okay. And then Robert just jumps to major conclusions here and says, why? You wanna have sex? The girl says, do you want to? Robert says, up to you if you get pregnant. And then he says, I mean, what if you get pregnant? What would you want, a boy or a girl? The girl says she would want a girl and asks Robert what he would want. He says he would also want a girl. Before he meets this girl, I mean, he's already talking about, you know, pregnancies. This is it's, it's just crazy. I've never seen any Riz like this ever, anywhere. You know, Robert pretty much just ends up saying a lot more of the same stuff within the chat log. And, you know, he's a character that just speaks for himself. So let's go ahead and get into the interaction. So, so this guy's, um, he said he's down to come, but he's got to be picked up. Yeah, he like asked for a ride. Well, he he, so he said to the decoy, he said, yeah. hey, you know anyone that could pick me up? And she was like, my cousin could. So the cousin is supposed to pick him up and bring him back to the sting house to meet the 14 year old girl? Yeah. And then the cousin's supposed to drive off? They said they might come in, act like they're gonna leave. That sounds crazy. Yeah, this dude is not the smartest dude. <laughs> I know he said, what if I get you pregnant? Oh my god. And he thinks the girl's how old? 12. Oh my god, 12? He said, would you like to see, would like to see if you could handle my nice what? My nice fat cock. My nice fat c uh, Of course it's nice and fat. Why wouldn't it be? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> These guys, I tell you. This is a nice ass house. I hope this is the right house. I'm not trying to get shot out here. There is a cat. They didn't say there'd be a cat. Someone's on the computer. Oh, yes. 
But they got cameras and everything here. This guy's a dumbass if he comes up to this house. Hey there, kitty. You wanna come help us catch a predator? Hi. Hello. Got it. that <laughs> fire alarm, that's a hidden camera. Um, the fire alarm's a hidden camera? Yeah, that's, that's a hidden camera. Really? Picture frame. Yeah. This is a hidden camera? Yeah, the camera's like in here somewhere. Yo, that's, oh, that's dope. dope. Yeah. So he thinks he's getting picked up right now to hang out with a 12-year-old girl. Right. That's yeah. that's nuts. That's yeah. wild. You, you gotta send me all the chat logs so I can. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Leader. So you're you're picking this guy up right now to come here. Yes, we're gonna pick him up and stop at the gas station to buy some condoms for the 12 year old. Oh my god. And this is him, Robert. Okay, and he works at Casey's. <laughs> this is what he looks like here. Look at that. He looks like a like a little kid. Like how how tall is this guy? Looks what was he like a dishwasher or something? Uh, Get a load of this. Says, I love you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag, it's oh, love. He said, I love you. <laughs> so you want to date? So are we dating? I love you, my queen. And he's playing Xbox 360. What the f is he? What, the, what is this setup? He's got, <laughs> he's got, <laughs> this is his gaming setup. He's got like an old Xbox 360 right under an Xbox Series S. <laughs> what the f is this the one that said he's got a fat c**k? Yes. Oh my god, you know he's capping. You know that's cap. <laughs> yeah. so those short guys, they gotta make up for it somehow, right? He's got the, the Xbox on top of the Xbox, and then he sent like a picture of like what he was playing or watching. What is this movie? Is this like, is, is this just you just, you got served? Is, is this Let's Dance? What the f is this? What is this can you tell what that is? Is it Boys in the Hood? Like, I don't know. And then if you zoom in right here, there's like this random cartoon. It's like Jerry the Mouse on crack to the left here. What the f is that, dude? What is that? What is, that? What is he watching? Seriously. Okay. Now the girls just pulled up with our potential predator. They just stopped at the gas station, got condoms. This is crazy. Yes, absolutely. Very important to stay protected. Oh, I see it now. He has Crash Bandicoot. That's what he's playing. Crash Bandicoot on the Xbox One. That's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> you see, that's the game that's on there. I thought that was one of those Soldier Boy consoles. Oh. <laughs> Are they coming back? 
Do you want me to stay? I'll stay for now. Oh, well, I'm here practically by myself for the rest of the night, so that's up to you. Like I said, you can pick. Well, there's only about 10,000 rooms in here, so. Jesus. Yeah, there's so <laughs> many rooms you can almost get lost. So I guess I could like show you all the rooms and you can pick which one that you like. We got some tickets in? I mean, if you want to. It's not me. I guess we'll see who wins the game. Oh, they live out of state. Oh, they live out of state. Come over here. I cooked some food. Do you want some predator pasta? No. Oh, sorry. So you're pretty good at pool, huh? What's going on here? What's up? From pocket pool to playing pool with a 12 year old. We're just friends, that's all. I'm sorry, what, what was your name? We're just friends. I promise you nothing else. What was your name, though? My name's Robert. We're just friends. Robert. Do me a favor, Rob. Could you put the pool stick down and just have a yeah. seat for me right over there? Yeah. We're just friends. I promise you nothing Okay. Else. Well, you just have a couple questions if you could just take a seat over here. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Appreciate it. Did you want to set up? You just wanted to what? Did you want set up or something? Uh, please have a See if you could have a seat for me right there. Yeah, right there is fine. Oh, uh, other, other, other chair. Yeah, right there is fine. So is this like a setup? A uh, setup. You know, you know what's in the name or something? We're like, just friends, I swear. You're just friends. How did you... We met on Facebook. How did you meet this off, off Facebook? Yeah, that's all. Okay. I swear, we're just friends. And how... Why how? Go to jail? We're going to get to that in a minute. Why would you go to jail? I don't know. Well, why do you keep saying it? We're literally just friends, I promise you. Well, why do you keep saying that? I don't know. So, how old are you? I'm 20. You're 20. And how old is the girl you're here to meet? 12. 12. I feel guilty. What do you feel, uh, what do you feel guilty about, Robert? A lot of stuff. Please elaborate. I don't want to. Well, just help me understand. What do you feel guilty I'm about here? Exactly what I said. And what did you say? A lot, of rivers, a lot of inappropriate stuff. A lot of inappropriate stuff. Well, that's a bit of an understatement. You asked her if she wanted to date. Mm -hmm. You asked her if she wanted to cuddle. I won't do it again. You won't do it again. How am I supposed to believe that? I won't. I'll literally block her when I get home. I promise. Well, I don't doubt you there, but you say that you want to... Yeah, I want to... Yeah, Sir, take your hands out of your Please, you take your hands out of your pockets. After you say you want to cuddle, you say that you asked her if she wants to f I won't ever do it again. So you, so you know this is wrong. Right, and I'm very sorry. So what made you do it, Robert? I don't know. I wasn't thinking. You weren't thinking. So Robert, you do know that you can't hang out at a 12 yes. year old girl's house yes, by herself after mm -hmm. having a sexually charged conversation. You yes, do I realize know. that's yes, I, I promise I would never do it again. Okay, but you did it tonight, and we need to figure out why you did it tonight. I don't know, I wasn't thinking. Once again, you asked her if she would like to have sex, but you used another word, I'm not going to repeat it again. And then you yeah, asked her. I'm do it again, I swear. You said it's up to you if you get pregnant. I'll never do it again, I swear. But what I want to know, Robert, is why, why even go there? Why even say that? I don't know. Her? I wasn't thinking. I promise I wasn't. I, I mean, like you just said, you, the plan was to come here and f Is that what you just said? And you talked to her, you, and she, you, you say you don't have enough money to get condoms? No. So what was your, what was your plan since you weren't going to buy condoms? Not to do it. I is that really, what I you said? I wasn't going to do it at all. You weren't going to do it at all. Is no, that what you I said to me? I not and that's all I did. And that's all I swear. And then another thing is, I'm sorry, another thing. You say, if you do get pregnant, would you want a boy or a girl? Yes, I f***ed up and I'm sorry. So it you, will never happen again. So it seems like you were ultimately planning to possibly get her pregnant. So yeah, what, what were you hoping for? Were you going for the, were you hoping for a boy or a girl? I don't know. You must have I some idea. You asked about. her. I was not thinking. You weren't thinking. You said you, girl. You were thinking whether your your child would be a boy or a girl, it seems. Okay, and I won't do it again. I will seriously go off when I get home. I won't ever talk to her You again. say you won't leave your d inside her very long. That way 
she doesn't get pregnant. Isn't that what you texted her? It's usually a good method. You know, the pullout game usually works. How's your pullout game? Is it strong? Yeah. Are you going to Jenga? No more pharmacy. It won't happen again. Okay, um, are you, how many other children are you talking to online? None at all, I promise. Because what app did you meet her off of? Facebook. Facebook, an everyday app that many, many people have. How many other children are you only talking to? Not at all. Do you have your phone yet? Just my sister and that's yeah. it. Do you have your How old is your here? sister? My sister's 15. I don't talk to her all the time. Do you Who's sure you don't? Who's your background pick? It's just a friend of mine. That's just fun to you. Okay. What are you looking for? I just want to take a look. And if I could just ask something here, um, regarding your your gaming setup here, um, what I don't know, what, what, can you explain what, what this is, what's going on it's here? It's just an Xbox One S, that's all. I mean, why have it on top of the, the black the Xbox 360? Yeah, what's with that? That's not how perfect to put it right now. What about the entertainment center? There's a perfectly good entertainment center right here. And yeah, is that- my TV and my stand. And right here, is that a, is that a half loaf of bread? Uh, that's my cat, I believe. That's not a, that, I don't know. that's not a cat, I don't, I don't think, think it, it looks like a, like a half loaf of bread or something. No, I think it's my stuff. And you were playing Crash Bandicoot. It was. Okay. And is that what is going on on the TV right here? That's music. It's music. Can you explain who the um, Jerry the Mouse looking cartoon character is right there? I don't know. That's part of the video. Okay. So we were just wondering about that. Um, Are you about to go to work? Uh, no, I'm about to go. You're about to get off? I'm about to work for uh, three days. For a couple of days? And where do you work? I work at Casey's. Casey's. What do you do there at Casey's? I put stuff up, I do stuff, I cook. That's it. So it's a restaurant? No, at the gas station. It's like where you pay money. Okay. Stuff. You know, we passed it. You said you worked right up here, didn't you? Your way over here. Do you always wear that shirt? Casey's yeah. You like, you like the shirt? I mean, it's a pretty nice shirt. Hmm? It's a pretty nice shirt. It's fresh. Nothing. It's a nice collar. We're up in Casey's morning tonight. Is that the only shirt you wear, pretty much? Well, for work, yeah. You work but you're not at work right now. Would you consider no. this work? Were you trying to put in work with a 12-year-old girl? No. No, oh, no. Okay, it sure seemed like it here. I mean, about five times you ask her if she wants to get pregnant, then you say that you're going to kiss her. Not anymore. I'm, I'm done. You're done? And when in the car, I said, how old are you? What'd you say to me? Yeah, you didn't, you didn't even want to tell me, did you? Because you knew you were about to pull up to a 12-year-old's house and you didn't want to tell me how old you were. So you wouldn't say it? No. It's a nervous. order? He said he was about to buy a house. I asked him how old he was. He said, why? I'm sorry, I didn't want to know who you was. Yeah, you kind of got shitty with me. So you're about to buy a house. Well, if I come out now, I'm buying it. He's saving up to buy it. You're saving up. Guys, so in the okay. chat, you told her at one point you were 12. No, that was on the phone conversation. Oh, oh, the phone conversation? He said he was 12 years old. Are you 12? Can I ask why you said 12? I don't know. I don't you don't know. look 12. I'm really sorry, guys. This one never happened again, I promise you. Yeah, but it happened now, man. You're here. Now. I wasn't thinking about it. I well, wasn't you were thinking. Clear. You, yeah. I wasn't thinking clear. But, okay, but you still managed to get over to a house where you thought you were going to stay the night with a 12 year old. Well, I up and I'm sorry. You didn't even hesitate either. It wasn't even like, oh no, you're 12. You're just like, yeah, it's okay. And at I'm some not, point, I'm sorry. at some point you even mentioned that you can sleep together with okay, a 12-year-old girl. Sorry. So what was going to happen when you were sleeping together? I think, um, you, you've been free this whole time, buddy. We just want to know, you know. Yeah, we just, don't you want to help save other kids? Yeah. Save people from doing this? So we need more information. This is definitely a lesson for all you people out there not to be doing this because obviously you do it, you're already getting in trouble and get put into jail. You, um, you can is that sort of what, is that what you're taking know. from this whole Yeah, I'm thing. taking off this whole situation, okay. not to do it, can not to again? mess up. If you could just repeat that one more time for the lovely viewers. Okay. Are you recording me? Just so it's for documentation purposes. Oh, wow. so y'all are doing this to make sure like a setup or like a reducing or something like that. Robert, this is for Robert, the police. 
Do you think we set you up? Because that's the third time you said it. Do you think we set you up, Robert? A little bit. How, why do you think that? Because I feel like it. Because you contacted a 12-year-old online, talked sexual, and then came to a 12-year-old's house. I set you up? No. You're the one that asked for a ride to get here, right? Set myself up. Thank you. That's what it seems like. But like I said, no one, like, if anybody my age out there is doing it, you all should follow yourself. What should you do if you come across a child online? Not to talk to them. Block them. Block them and all that, yeah. Not try to not try to be in a relationship with them, yeah. like you say here. You say, uh, "Are we for real dating, and will we never break up?" And I learned my lesson. So, in your mind, you at some point you thought you were in a relationship with this twelve-year-old girl, Robert. I, I think you need help. This is this is some bad stuff right here in this chat look okay okay well i'll never do it again i'll go home but what i want to know what happens after you go home i mean do you get online and talk to the next 12 year old girl or nope i'm not stop doing that so i mean why not talk to someone your own age sure not, surely there's plenty of people your age I'm you're not only 20. Doing that for you should have done that from the get-go i know and i messed up okay i'm very sorry you messed up big time i'm sorry what's your employer going to think of this I don't know. I mean, I'm sure underage children come in and out of this gas station day to day where you're working. I don't know how to do it again. We certainly hope not, Robert. I promise y'all won't. But, Robert, you know how many times I hear, I've heard that. You understand why I can't believe you, right? Yes. Because I hear it all the time. All the time. I've heard that from guys that are registered sex offenders that have victims out there. They say, oh, it's my first time. Then we find out they've done, they've done yeah, a victim. Yeah. These are probably my first time. Huh? These are probably my first time, I promise. Okay. And it will never happen again. Why'd you say they meet, what, what was it, they meet forever? You won't yep. ever break up with me? That's never? what he said, never break yeah, up. I promise you, yeah. that will never be said again. I think that's kind of creepy to say to somebody, never. How long, you've been talking I mean, to her for how long? Let alone the fact that she's 12 years old. I mean, just saying that to someone is just a little Look, creepy to begin again. with. March 6th? Literally, I promise you'll never happen. But it happened this time, man. Just at one time. Okay, Robert, but if we weren't here, you'd be spending the night alone with a 12 year old. Yeah, and, I mean, and what would have happened? Just a friendly hug, yeah. And just a friendly hug. Nothing to, else. To a 12 year old. Nothing that else. You have you. no relation, you don't know her, stranger, just a friendly hug to a 12 year old. And that's perfectly okay with you. No. So how was the night going to go if a 12-year-old girl had okay. been here? Well, That's what I want to know. Like, I was going to make sure y'all were here anyway. You were going to... You were going to make sure... Gonna, make, but you're an adult. Yeah, then I messed up. I quick and I quick on. Um, so what was really going to happen if there was just a 12-year-old girl? Nothing at all. Not anymore. What wait, was, wait, 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 wait. Not anymore. So what was going to happen? Initially. You're saying, you're saying not anymore, so what was the plan before? We were going to watch a movie. So play pool, watch a movie, and then I think you said sleep together. Yeah, sleep mm -hmm. together and cuddle. That's all, I swear. Just sleep together and that's up? I'm already, can I pay to come home? I mean, you already admitted you, you said you were yeah. yeah. I mean, that's gonna, a lot right there. You already admitted you said you were coming to f***, so to go back is not going to help you. You're yeah. not helping yourself. You clearly don't think you have an issue. I do not have an issue. I mean, I this is a... Now. An extreme issue. If yeah, you would have been here with a middle schooler, I'm gonna work on myself. You yeah, said that's... in the phone conversation, I graduated a long time ago. You said, What grade are you in? She said, Seventh. You said, Cool, middle school. So you acknowledge that she's in seventh grade in middle school, not even not even high school, not even junior high. Okay, copy um... Robert. What did we tell you in the very beginning? Not pretty good. Robert, right. You don't think I'm going to come back. Yeah, you can have that. You got a lot of step sister. Okay, look, I'm sorry, but can I think I'm going to come back? I was on there a lot of stepsister kings. I'm not being allowed with you. I don't be allowed with me. Apparently, he was also trying to blink inside of her and put his penis inside of her. I might never do it again, I promise. That's what it says here. So, what, what would you have done when you knocked up this 12 year old? What would you have told her parents? I would have felt guilty. And then what? I'd have fired him up in jail. Oh, yeah. You felt guilty? And then what, like you what about the kid? I don't think you'd be able to support a kid on this, um... 
I'm sorry. The, on the Casey salary here, I don't, I don't know. He's I don't got know what's going to happen. He's got 151 in his bag right now, so. I'm going to have to do it again, but I can't do it. Who are you sending those videos to? Yeah. Butt naked, jacking off, flexing. Is that what you find on this device thing? You do it for yourself. You just play it back and watch your performance, or? Not how buff you look. Okay. That's not how I play Robert, we've you? said you're free to leave whenever you want. We're not taking you home if that's what you're asking. Bubby, better get to step in. The police might be able to take you home. Okay, can I, can I we, walk home? Have we arranged a ride for him with the police? We can get you a ride if you want. I'll do it on my social media when you, I get home. You, you, you know, they don't tell you age on there, but you're messaging with some profiles that look extremely young, okay? And this girl had her age on her profile. You clearly have an attraction. I started to really with my social media. I mean, between your porn choices I don't think that's good enough. and the people that you mm -hmm. message right. online. I don't think just deleting your social media is going to solve the problem here. I mean, it what's will. what's stopping you from going and making more social medias and talking to more underage girls? It will not happen. Or when they come into the gas station. Even then. It will never I mean, happen. they have to come in there every day. I'll just quit my job. And what's going on with your arm here? Were you drawing on your arm there? Or? Oh, no, those tattoos my friend I gave him. He... Those are tattoos. Huh? Those those are tattoos. Yeah. Let me see. What is it? Oh, they look really white. What is it? Are they like the three D ones? Oh. oh no, they're real. Uh, that Wait. Because you had a lot of wives in your phone, sexy wives. You didn't pay him for those, did you? Wives, my queen. You had all your hoes laid. Is that like a? That's a tattoo. A devil yeah. thing. Is that? Oh, no, that's that's okay. We just want to take a look yeah, here. They're real. It's like, it's like a red pen. No, yeah, no, thought, is it just, just faded? Yeah, it's just faded. They are eventually going to show you out. Is it Avery Anderson? No, it's her Anderson. No, it's Avery Anderson. Oh, okay. Okay. Can I see Avery Anderson? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You were thinking something. You had plenty of time to think of going through this or not well, going I through with this. I said I thought how old she was and I didn't do it. I'm sorry, what? I guess I said I thought how old she was and I didn't do it. You didn't do what? I didn't ask how old she was. But she, at some point she told you and you knew how old she was. And it was I don't know what to say. It's, it's just really not a good look. Before you came here. From this right now, from this point on, I've to learn something not to do this again. Yeah, I think sure. after this, I'm going to set up a counselor. I'm going to talk to them. And get myself You're going to talk to a counselor? Okay. Get myself straight. I think, I think that's what you need to do. I think I'm going to do it. Yeah, are, Definitely. Are you, are you actually going to do that? Yeah, I've got I've, I don't, a counselor. I mean, it's a place I used to go to a long time ago. I'm about to go back to it. You know how many times I've heard that? No, I really mean, that I'm going to go do it. We've heard that too a lot. You know how many times I've heard that bullshit, man? I've heard it plenty of times, sir. Like, I'm going to say this now. If I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Oh, okay. So, hold on. Right? Now, you said you were going to blank inside of the 12-year-old girl. And you were also going to put your penis inside of her. You said you were going to do that. Not for a long time, But So, you said you were going to do that. And then you just said, if I say I'm going to do it, then I'm going to do it. So, that means, in theory... <laughs> that you were going to have intercourse with this 12 year old girl. That was your plan, right? Okay, so n now we're getting somewhere, Robert. But, but why, why fib, you know, pry? Why, what was with all the lying before saying you weren't going to do those things and you, before you said you were going to do them? So you lied this whole, you've been lying for the last 20 minutes or so. I mean, I'm, I'm glad, you, you know, we're getting somewhere now and you're telling the truth. I'm glad you see that you need help. So, what age did you start noticing that you started liking younger, but you were getting older? I don't remember. I'm so really dumb. So, you just, when you were 12, you liked 12-year-olds? When you were 15, you still liked 12-year-olds? When you were 20, you still liked 12-year-olds? Is just the age 12, like, when is, that, is that your, 12. when you were 12, it's just, you just always like 12 year olds? Not anymore. As of tonight? As of tonight, not anymore. As of tonight, not anymore? Yes, sir. Okay. So what about the last few years? Have you been talking to any other 12 year olds? No. Sure. Just tell the truth. <laughs> no, <I'm not laughs> you just said after tonight, I'm not gonna like twelve year olds anymore. So before tonight, you like twelve year olds? Yes or no? I don't think an attraction just goes away like that either. I can't just say I don't like guys. Really Something really wrong here. Every day of your life, multiple times a day. Come on, tomorrow, sir. Huh? I will never give it to God. So did we scare the attraction out of you? Is that sort of? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. But it doesn't work like that, man. If you're attracted to minors, you're attracted to minors. So I'm attracted to women. Nothing is going to change me from being attracted to women. Right? Are you sure? Just now? Just now? You can have a seat. You don't have to stay in. You can chill. Now is the moment you be comfortable. you don't like kids, man. You want a drink? I'm not dead or something? No, I'm good. You're, I'm right, you're, right, you're right to be here anyway, man. I'm actually kind of nervous now. Why? Now you're nervous? Just now? Why are you nervous now? We've been so calm with you. Where's the shit you want to carry on playing pool? I'll beat your ass in it. You want to go? I think so. Uh, what? I, th I think he's. I mean, I got, two, I got two shots in already. Rack them up. Rack them up. Rack them up. Might as well. Win. If, if you win. win. If I win, you go to jail. Okay, never mind. Uh, <laughs> she's kidding. She's kidding, bro. I'm just kidding. How would she get? She's not a cop. We're not cops. Oh, this is your best shot, she though, sucks at, at not going, going to jail, possibly. So if you win, then maybe you won't go to jail. But if you lose, hey, you seem you seem pretty hot. You said let's go. You said you're a man of okay, your word. Okay, I would just joke you. I don't want to do it. Well, you said you're a man of your word. You said let's go. What's your living situation like? Do you have roommates or? I got a guy with me. Yeah, what? I have a friend that's a guy with is, is it your roommate? Or did you, did they ask where you were going or no? 
like that. Okay. So you didn't explain. They don't know that you're here meeting a 12-year-old girl. Okay. I mean, what do you think they're going to think when they find out they're that they're living with someone? They're going to be mad at me. As they should be. Do they I have mean. kids? No. When's the last time you washed that shirt? I worked so I just got out of work. Oh, you just got out of work. So you didn't shower before you came here? I was going right. to, but I didn't get time. So you didn't shower, right. you didn't change your work, you didn't just came bother. hot from work to the 12 year old's house. Didn't even bother to freshen up for her? Did you shower this morning? Yeah. Okay. Were you going to sleep in her bed with her? Was that the plan? I'm just asking. Before you would even shower? I was going to. When? Before I came, I forgot. But you forgot. How do you forget when you got... I don't know. I mean, whenever I have a hot date lined up, you know, I'm getting in the shower and I'm getting myself freshened up. We're going to shower here. I mean, how do you forget that? <laughs> no? That, that's why I asked if you were dry goes, how did you forget it? Yeah, because he was so antsy. He was like, I'm ready. Tell her. You I'm said, ready. I've been ready. You've been ready. You've been ready, but your body ain't ready. How long have you been ready to meet this 12-year-old? Just to be a friend. But I know okay, just to be a friend. Robert. 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 Well, how long? Know our we went through the chat, brother. <laughs> you st what, where, what's you said, 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 you you said, 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 you but why do you keep saying you're just gonna be a friend, man? When when you're saying this stuff, I f up. No, but, no, no, no. I'm asking a question. Like, why would you say this if you're just gonna be your friend? I don't. Like I said, I don't know. Oh yeah, you, you know, man. You, you just don't want to. Would say you like it. to? F you want to? F that's what. That's that's what you said. Up to you if you get pregnant. Is that what you're saying in front of all of us? I just want to go home. Robert. I mean, I well, you, I got a ride for you. I'm just taking forever. I don't feel comfortable with my talk anymore. Robert, you can leave whenever you want, man. Well, well Robert's already, he's already answered the question. You said, you know, he's a man of his word. If he says he's going to do something, he's going to do it, right? So all the stuff he said in the chat log, he was planning on doing, right? Well, there we have it. So, Rob, is it safe to say that you weren't really just wanting to be friends? Is it safe? Yeah. A little more than friends, it sounds like. I mean, because, I, I mean, I don't say this stuff to my friends. I love you to my friends. Have you told any of your other friends I would have to inside you? You have told your other friends that? Are well, you he's being scammed by a woman he has well, saved underneath his wife who he's saying, make me baby, please. Have you told that to wives one through three in your contacts? I might have bought them all. You no, know, Eric, guys, when, so when we're talking, you. you know, we're friends, right? Right. Have you ever heard? heard me say, or have I ever typed to you, hey, buddy, I want to inside you. No, I mean, you kind of hinted at something, well, but you never said that. You never came out and said that. You're just going to put me on, on the <laughs> You're just going to put me on blast like that? Hey, hey. No, I don't. All right, fine. Why? I'm going to already come get me. Why are you in such a hurry to get here? Why do you want to leave so soon? Because I felt like hard for doing everything I did. Uh, why do you want, why do you want a girl if you have a baby? Oh, kind of creepy. Is that what he said? Did he want a girl? Yeah, he wants a girl. I wonder why he wanted a girl. Can I go outside and just for a minute? Robert, please, my your mother, help me understand why you don't understand that you've been free to go this whole time. You think I'm going to tackle you? Right now I'm here to talk to you. Okay. Okay. What is? Do you have an ID on you? No. No. I'm on hold. Okay. Are you guys all with the group that's yeah. here? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, right now I'd just like to talk to you. Do you care if I transport you to the sheriff's department to talk to you? No. Okay. Okay. Um, do you have any belongings here you need to grab or no, anything like that? No, I'll phone in my vape. That's all. Okay, phone in your vape. Can I pay, pay you down real quick? 
Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, one to face that way. Uh, uh, let's take two, seven, eight. Can I call my mom when I get there? How old are you, man? Yeah, I'll let you make a phone call. Not right now, but make sure that can happen, okay? Okay, I'm going to walk with you back to my car first, okay? All right, it looks like uh, Robert is over there having a conversation with the, uh, with the police. And that might be the last that we're, that we're going to see of him. So I guess they're going to take him in for questioning right now. And um, he, he got his ride. He got his ride all right. His ride sure took long enough to get here. He said, hey, officer. <laughs> Brooklyn is the Um Eric. I talked to Eric. Yep, and that's so that's our organization, Prayer Catchers Incorporated. Mm -hmm. We did all the work on here, and then mm -hmm. he is another organization. He just assisted and was here. Um, and if you want to give your information to him. Now, this whole incident happened in March or April of 2023, and Robert was not arrested on this night. He was just you know, taken in for questioning by the officer and he was free to go. But that didn't last very long because on August 12th, 2023 at around 11.43 a.m., Robert was arrested and charged with child solicitation. You really hate to see someone do a thing like this, but you always love to see them get charged and arrested when they do. Robert's bond was set at a hefty $20,000, so I don't think he'll be getting out of jail anytime soon. I mean, I know that Casey's job sure isn't bringing in the dough for him. If there's anything we can learn from Robert, I think that thing would be, don't talk to 12 year old girls online. And also, practice good hygiene. I mean, you know, take a shower every once in a while, clean yourself, um, you know, get, get a proper haircut, don't have your hair going in like five freaking directions. I mean, I mean, what, what was that, that haircut even? I don't, I don't even know where to begin with that. Also, if you're going to get tattoos, uh, don't let your friend do them like in, in the basement and, and make sure they're like using the proper ink and whatnot. Cause I don't know what that shit was on Robert's arm. It was like someone drew on it with Mark or, or something. Um, yeah, I think there's a lot we can take away from Robert here. There's just, there's just so much to unpack with him. Well, we know that there are many, many other predators out there, just like Robert. And if they happen to fall into our investigation, they'll be discovered. And they will ultimately get skeeted, just as Robert did on this night. I hope you've enjoyed this thrilling episode of To Skeet a Predator. I've been your host, Skeet Hansen. Thank you, and good night.